All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless me here. Uh, talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. And now you'll know the rest of the story. So Paul Shortino, again, I, I don't know that much about Paul Shortino. Quiet Riot, Rough Cut, Singer in Vegas, Nice Hair, seems to be able to carry a tune even at 68 years old. He's bringing it. And you know what Paul Shortino is doing that's bad? Rather than talk about what Paul Shortino is up to, not height-wise, because I think he's done. All right, I don't think he's going to grow much more. But here's the thing. Paul Shortino does not like Marxism. Who's Marx, right? You got Karl Marx. You got Richard Marx. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was too easy. Karl Marx, Richard Marx, runs in the family, right? How's uh, Rand Paul doing these days? Is he okay? Has he been threatened anymore by washed up rock stars? Richard Marx. Anyway, Paul Shortino, who's often in the news to talk about how he doesn't like Marxism, who is against mandates, he's against the idea of everyone having to do the thing. The thing, he is railed. He's railed against federal and local mandates that have been implemented across the U.S. over the past few weeks. Whereas the rock media celebrates this wonder and says, ah, uh, it's for the common good. It's for the common good, even though it's having, well, the exact opposite effect. Of course, you wouldn't know this, right, if you tune into your local channel. Like where I live, there's something called Wink News. I like to call it Stink News. You know, they used to do this headline thing, this, this crawl where they would say, facts, not fear. Can you believe this? Can you believe the opposite day effect that has? We at Wink News believe in facts and not fear. And that's why we're going to scare the crap out of you again today. Let's give you case counts. Let's give you death counts. Keep that death count thing going. Well, you're just selfish. You're selfish because you're not on board. You're not on board with us. Okay, I'm selfish. How about defensive? How about protecting myself and my family from tyranny? So Paul Shortino weighs in, and this is what they have to say about Paul Shortino former Quiet Riot and current Rough Cut singer Paul Shortino has railed against the federal and local mandates that have been implemented across the U.S. over the past few weeks. This 68-year-old Shortino, they love to put age because they're basically saying, ah, here's a stupid boomer. These damn boomers, if they would just all die off, we'd be fine, right? Stupid boomer who frequently likes tweets that amplify Republican talking points and that are derogatory to Democrats. All right, full disclosure on this particular channel. I've done this before, I'll keep doing it because that's what I do. I'm effective at it, nobody's gonna stop me. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. I like freedom, I like liberty, all right? Now, what the Republicans do oftentimes is they talk a good game, but they do nothing. The Democrats, on the other hand, talk a lousy game, and they execute on their lousy game. Do you like lockdowns? Do you like mandates? Apparently, the rock media loves lockdowns, mandates, and restrictions on your freedom, including, by the way, your bodily autonomy. Remember back in the day when my body, my choice, la, 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 even though it wasn't necessarily one body, it was one body and then there was another body involved, but you don't call it a body because it doesn't meet some arbitrary criteria. Uh, it, that's always kind of confused me. It has. It has confused me over the years. But let's just, for the sake of argument, 
Let's use their definition. My body, my choice. Not anymore. Nope. You're just amplifying. Hey, Paul. Paul, you're just amplifying those Republican, those evil, wascally Republican talking points. Again, much of the two-party system right now is really just for show. Okay, so this website doesn't like the red team. It likes the blue team. It's you're being derogatory toward the blue team. So you're not part of our team. And so we're going to call you out. Uh, so he discussed his uh, stance on the issue during an October 5th appearance on Robbie Lochner's YouTube live stream. Now, I don't know Robbie Lochner. You know, what's funny is I've had a couple of big interviews over on this channel where there's been a couple of bombshells dropped. Crickets. I can hear the crickets. That was a while ago. Like when Jim Peterick says something like, hey, Chicago is recording a new album with Jim Peterick at the helm doing production, probably some songwriting. You think that might have been covered by somebody in the rock media? Yeah, it's not because it's me. It's me. I don't fit their narrative. I critique what they do. I don't like like 99% of the rock music industry right now because they don't like good music for the most part. They promote crap. They talk about crap. They elevate crap. By the way, a guy like Paul Shortino, he's in two fairly successful bands. I guess they have to mention him. But you see, they use Paul Shortino as some kind of a scapegoat. So they can write an article about how Neanderthal is this guy. He's not willing to just, you know, drink the poison. What's the matter with him? Doesn't he know that everybody drinks the poison? Paul, just drink it. Just take the poison, Paul. Paul, what's the matter with you, man? Everybody does this. Haven't you seen the commercial where they say, we all bundle. We mindlessly walk off of the cliff together. <laughs> Rock and roll in the old days had a spirit of rebellion. I didn't always agree with it, by the way depended what they were rebelling against, but say like the Vietnam War. I think that was a good one, right? We had a little, we remember the Dixie Chicks, right? I didn't really like them, but yeah, they were kind of supposedly anti-war back, what, 15 years ago? And I didn't really like the Dixie Chicks, but they did take a stand and, uh, you know, we've been doing that whole war in the Middle East thing now for like 20 years, we're kind of out of it, but we're never going to be out of it because we never stop doing that stuff. See, this is where I don't follow the talking points from the Republicans or the Democrats, but I respect Paul Shortino because he doesn't want tyranny. I don't want tyranny. This website though, this rock website wants tyranny. It thinks everybody needs to do, and you know what? It's not an invasion of your rights for privacy if I make a different choice than you make. Just like on the other issue where bodily autonomy was at stake and a woman would say, well, listen, it's my body and it's my choice. I didn't agree with that sentiment. However, at least there's an argument to be made there, right? There's some kind of an argument. I don't agree with it because it, it's, it's not scientific. Just throwing that out there, it, it has nothing to do with science to say that it's just because people would then question, well, how do you know when the other body is viable? And then we've had that argument, but you know, when there's an accident on the highway, pregnant mother passes away, they often say, there were two fatalities. Is that, is that confusing? Maybe. See, it's weird because it's like if you make some sort of mental assertion about it, then it becomes okay, right? If you mentally assert, yes, 
I want to have a baby shower. Good. It's like the field goal kick. It's up. It's good. Perfect. But if you say, no, 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 I think I want to go to the clinic. People go, oh, bodily autonomy. So Paul Shortino, who does nothing but state kind of like an obvious thing, like, hey, um, you're not coming at me with that thing. You're not, you're not going to do that because I don't want you to do that. Well, <laughs> D. Snyder, well, you're, you're, just, you're just stupid. You're just making my life difficult. Really? You did the thing, right? So you're covered. Why am I now responsible for what you do after you've done the thing that you think is your security blanket? You want to be Linus, be Linus, go out there and do the thing that you think is going to fix your problem. Leave me out of it. Paul Shortino wants nothing to do with it. All right. I don't care if he supports Trump or a goat or a llama or I don't know, whatever. Pick, pick somebody. Pick a thing. Elton John. I don't really care. All right. I don't really care. At some point, folks, the media has to stop with this, but they're not going to this narrative that just is like everywhere. It's in your face. Can I just go to Vegas and listen to Paul Shortino? He's going to sing a few songs that I like. Seems like a nice guy. Shortino seems like a nice Italian name, right? Me and Paul, we might be able to go out. Hey, we might be able to go out, have a, have a nice meal, you know? A couple of meatballs. We could talk about old times. We could talk about when record labels cared about their artists. We could talk about how the music industry used to be the music industry and not the propaganda arm of some deep op, psyop government thing. That the, the government op, the psyop has to go out to a melodic supposed, we'll call it a supposed mainstream rock website, <laughs> right? They're going to, and, and they're so smart because they know that two things are going to happen. The people that they don't want reading their publication are going to go, screw you. I'm going to get my information where there's actual information. This is just propaganda. Propaganda. Well, let's make sure we throw Paul Shortino under the bus again today. Little do they know that a little upstart website like mine little page like mine would actually take up the cause. Paul Shortino sums it up. What's interesting to me is that when you have to bribe people to take something, you kind of want to question it. Maybe it would be a good idea to find out why they want me to take this so bad. He goes on, people have different reactions from both sides of it. People that have taken it have been cool. Some people have taken it, and some people have had a different problem. And he says that he's allergic to certain things that they want to put into his body, which, um, by the way, those are the old version of the thing. Some people are now even questioning that, which I don't blame them. He says, I'm not in a hurry to get the thing. It might kill me. And I should probably be a little bit more informative in what's going on with what they're giving people and stuff. And he's being very diplomatic because he knows. But it's messed with a lot of people's, people's lives. It's insane. It really is with restaurants, bars, and music. So again, he uses uh, Marxism. He's not talking about Richard Marx, although Richard Marx is definitely a descendant of Karl Marx, no question about it and seems to cheer along when uh, Rand Paul is speaking. Folks, we got to get out of this. We, we got to stop. Wh whatever happened to doing what's truly best for people and for leaving people alone that have different viewpoints, not like, you know, exacerbating the problem, amplifying, as they say here, well, he amplifies the talking points of this particular political party. Okay, nobody complains when that person who's doing the amplifying amplifies the other political party, which 
apparently everybody agrees with in this circle of influence. That's all they do. They promote people. And that particular party right now is all about Marxism. It's, it's anti-God. It's anti-God. They actually want to take God out of their platform in like 2016. Can we just get rid of God? Do we really need God here? Could have been 2016 or 2020. That's just weird, right? Aren't we supposed to be doing the pluralism thing and the whole everybody gets along and coexist? Remember coexist? Nope. No coexisting. Not anymore. So anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling. And when I ramble, sometimes I say things that are incoherent. And then people send me messages. What did you mean by this? And then I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I had gone off on a tangent. I forgot to come back to where I was. Bottom line, folks, Paul Shortino seems like a decent guy. Seems like he wants to think independently. He wants to think for himself. Doesn't want to go along with the lemmings doesn't want to go along with a herd, might want to celebrate Christmas this year. Oh, and we haven't even talked about Halloween and Thanksgiving, right? But we're already making plans for Christmas. Well, I don't think it's safe to go out for Christmas at all. I was going to, you know, hang out with my family, but I'm going to wear a mask, maybe two masks, because that's what I do. Folks, are, are, are we going to be ever done with this? And the question, you know, is rhetorical at this point, because we're not. Because we're not. Think about it. We've gotten to the point now where we've made something that is manageable and that you can deal with if you have the right information into something that is a, a never-ending crisis. And quite honestly, people, I don't want to live in that world. I am going to continue to live in this world, and I will continue to be a thorn in the side of entertainment websites that have gone woke political on me. Libertarian Dave, Independent Dave, check out my voter reg. It's not left, it's not right. Although you may think I'm more on the right, that's fine. Think of what you want of me, doesn't matter. I'm a critical thinker, I'm an independent thinker. And that's it, Paul Shortino. Good job. Keep saying what you say. Keep believing what you believe because we need to push back against this. And I, I hate to be all activist because this is supposed to be like real music in real time for real people. Well, guess what? The real people need to rise up and put a real beat down on some of these people that are trying to take their liberties and freedoms away. I mean that figuratively. I'm a peace advocate. I am not for hurting anybody. I'm for putting a beat down on their views. Just to be clear. All right. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Smack the bell. If you want a notification, don't forget to subscribe. And Patreon, for just $1 a month, you could do $100 a month. And I will send you a special gift if you do $100 a month. How's that? Seriously, I'll do it. Um, you're not going to do 100. I need wealthy donors. I need to be like corporate Dave. I need to make like all these connections with corporate donors, like all these people who are trying to mandate the thing on everybody. They have corporate donors, big pharma. Could I get big pharma? Maybe to add? No, that's not going to happen on this channel. Although you may see an ad prior to the channel. That's not me, people. That's not me. But uh, thanks again. And uh, I'll see you soon.